Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamber.com. Today I want to run you through how to make this gorgeous note card. The sentiment says, let's be friends forever. Great card to send a friend. This is video number two of eight in an eight video 2017-2018 Stampin' Up! catalog sneak peek preview series. Let's get started right away. I want to show you some interesting things here. This note card is a um, sneak peek of the Eastern Palace bundle. Now Stampin' Up! is releasing the Eastern Palace bundle and suite for customers May 1st. I think that's kind of fun. Us demonstrators always get a little head start, but this time Stampin' Up! is making a pre-order available for customers too. So let me show you the Eastern Palace bundle. This is the Eastern Medallions Thinlet die set. Okay, it's a great big die set. I absolutely love it. This is one of the dies that we'll be using today in our card. I'm going to put that aside on my magnet sheet so it's ready for us. And this is the Eastern Beauty stamp set. And we'll be using this Let's Be Friends Forever sentiment today. Okay, let me show you what I decided to do. Since this is not yet available for you to purchase, but will be shortly, I wanted to combine it with some things from the 2000. 17, 2016, 2017 catalog. So I decided this Moroccan designer series paper is going to coordinate awesome with your Eastern medallions in your Eastern beauty stamp set. And it's on the retirement list right now. Okay, so this paper right here, I do not have a full sheet of anymore. I just loved it way too much and used it all. But this is pattern number one, front and back. And this is the Moroccan designer series paper. I love this pattern. This is another one I've used a bunch of front and back. And then we have this Emerald Envy pattern. Love it. Here's the back side of that one. We're going to be using this Dijon pattern today. And here's the back side of that. That's a beautiful multicolor pattern. Here's an early espresso pattern on the back side. Love this one. This is up in there in my favorites. And then here's another Dijon pattern on the back of that one. All right, so that's the Moroccan designer series paper that we're using today. Another thing that I want to show you before I go through the rest of the products that I use to make this card is this little fun cheat sheet that I made. All right, so this is all of the dies cut out of a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and then I stamped up the greetings and the little bits that are available. So let's take a look at this die set here. And you can see this is this medallion here. It doesn't cut it completely out of the paper, but you can always take some scissors and snip it out like we're gonna do with this one. This is the die that we're using today to kind of make our sunflower. And you'll notice it doesn't cut it out completely, so you can just cut that out of your card front and how cool would that look. And I wanted to show you how some of the um, sentiments and the little circles coordinate. So we've covered those two guys. Now this one right here cuts out this beautiful little pattern. And of course you can take your layering circles and then cut that out and make a gorgeous little medallion. Then there's this die that cuts out this, and it just takes out the negative space. Again, a layering circle to just pop that out would make a nice element for a card. And then there's these two smaller ones. I see these as windows with great colors behind them, maybe across the landscape side of a card. So this one cuts out this great pattern. And again, these all coordinate with the layering circles. Okay, now on to the other side here, we have the dies that cut out the stamp images. So this little star die here cuts out this little star image that we'll be using on the background. And then these two pieces right here, this little fan-shaped one, cuts out these little fans. And this little diamond-shaped one cuts out this little diamond, so if you want to lay that in the middle in a different color, that would be gorgeous. 
and then there's this little um, like keyhole shape and there is a stamp for that it's right here that would cut out this little stamp that I used to embellish the petals here so this is one stamp and this outline here is a second stamp that cuts this now these are kind of tricky and fun um, this little flower die is step one here and it would cut this into your paper but then you can use this second die if you wanted to cut it out and make an embellishment and this one here works the same way and you see it cuts these little openings these little slits and the stamps coordinate and then you could go ahead and if you wanted to cut out this stamped up medallion with this die. So it's a really interactive set. Layering and, and stamping and die cutting, the possibilities are really very endless with this set. I love these, a note for you, and this one that says life is beautiful that you can put along the, the circle edge, those little curved sentiments. It's a great stamp set. I can't wait to show you more. I've been playing with it and I've got so many ideas. Even as I'm showing you the dies today, the ideas are just flowing. Okay, some of the other products that I use to make this card, I use the Moroccan designer washi tape. These are three rolls that I did not use. I used these. Um, these are on the retirement list on clearance. I used the 2016-2018 um, in color enamel shapes, the Dapper Denim ones. These are on sale right now and available while supplies last. I've also used the Rose Garden Thinlets dies. They're carrying over into the new catalog. And I use them for my leaves. I use my layering circles, framelits to layer inside of this Eastern medallion. And these are about two inch size. I use the circle and the scallop circle. I'm going to add another product to this card. I made this card and I was very happy with it, but as I was looking at it later, I came back, I said, hmm, I wonder if I embossed something there. And then came to mind the brick wall embossing folder. So we are going to make one with the brick wall embossing pattern back here. You can tell me which one you like better. So brick wall embossing folder. Stampin' pads for this project are soft suede and dapper denim. Okay, for our consumables and cardstock materials, we need an eight and a half by five and a half. Dapper denim scored at four and a quarter. Um, scraps for our leaves. I've got old olive and pear pizzazz. We need scraps of both. This is Delightful Dijon and it's about three and a quarter inch square. This is soft suede circle in an early espresso scallop circle and these can be cut from two and a quarter inch squares. That'll give you a little room. This is about a two inch piece. We need a piece of very vanilla that measures three and a quarter by four and three eighths and a piece of that Moroccan designer series paper and this one is three and a half by four and three quarters. We'll also need a little bit of um, linen thread. Okay, so let's get started here. I want to grab a bone folder and fold my card. And let's do some stamping right away here. Got my stamp and pierce mat and my soft suede circle. Okay, so the first thing I'd like to do is run through stamping this little um, star pattern border on our card base. I've got the little star stamp from the Eastern Beauty. I'm gonna ink up in dapper denim. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a sheet of scrap paper so I can protect my stamp and pierce mat, and we're because we're going to stamp off the edge here. Now for the very first one, position is crucial because the rest of this little stars will follow this first one. We want to ink up well with dapper denim, and place the little star almost to the extreme right for this extreme right arm of the star and almost to the extreme top for this little top arm of the star. Let me stamp it and then I'll show you. 
Okay, that's going to determine position for all the rest of our little stars. So we'll ink, stamp, and repeat. We're going to line up. If my head gets in the video camera, I'm sorry, because it's easiest to line up if you get directly over top of your image. And you just want to stamp so that those points almost touch. Okay, if you really want perfe perfection, you can get the stamp of a jig, but as you can see, it's going to just peep out the edge there. So I am very good with eyeballing it with the clear stamp and the clear block. It's very easy. Now your next row is going to tuck in between those and fall off the edge. So see, we're just making a little starburst pattern from these arms of the star. Okay, so now you've got two rows and we're going to make a third row. What I did for my third row is I started with a full star and I just lined it up so that, let me show you, when I stamped it, this little arm here points to the intersection here where these two meet and then that'll give you a place to carry on with your pattern. So now same thing, you just want to stamp so that the top and the bottom nearly touch here, all the way down. Okay, then to finish off, we're going to stamp off the top here and off the bottom here. Pretty simple, not very fussy. Just take a deep breath and stamp. Own it and it'll turn out great, I promise. Okay, so that's our dapper denim. Now let's move this aside and do our soft suede. Soft suede circle, we've got soft suede stampin' pad. Let's be friends forever. Ink that up well. And stamp. There's our sentiment. All right, I'm gonna get the Big Shot. We'll do some die cutting and embossing now. I'm back with the Big Shot. I have the platform that came with the Big Shot, a cutting pad, and then my brick wall embossing folder and my vanilla panel. Now, I want to kind of pay attention to where this brick lines up on this vanilla piece. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that placement. I'm gonna put that on my platform, add a cutting pad over top. And I'm gonna roll that through. I love that sound of embossing cardstock. Look at that beautiful brick pattern. It's so deep and what a nice detail. All right, let's see if we like that better than just plain. Next, we're gonna do some die cutting. So let's switch out here. Now I've got my magnetic platform and cutting pad. And then I'm going to put a couple of different pieces on my platform. There's the Dijon. And we're going to cut that with our Eastern Palace medallion. And then I've got this great, big, beautiful rose die, and we're going to cut this leaf. That's all we need. So we'll go ahead and run that through. Okay, now I'm going to get my die brush in here. I love this die brush and it is on sale for $7 right now. See all those little Dijon bits? We're going to brush them right out, roll gently back and forth, not too much pressure, roll quickly. You don't want to get the bristles stuck in the 
die and pressing too hard will do that and then they bend but look at that okay they're all out of there now and all the mess is in this little foam pad gotta love that pick it up while it's on sale for seven dollars because it's coming back in the catalog at twelve fifty okay so I've finished my die cutting and we're going to assemble our leaves I've already done two of them we cut three and this is what we got. Now we're going to trim them down a little smaller so that they're a good scale. So I'm cutting that last loop off on both sides. So there's our trimmed up detail. Now I'm going to glue the old olive detail to a scrap of pear pizzazz cardstock. I'm using multi-purpose liquid and just scribble some on the back. You can hear that to the pear pizzazz. And let that dry for a minute. While that dries, let's trim out our medallion. So I'm gonna just slightly roll up these petals. And then using my snips, I'll trim right in between. I like that if I just want to cut these dies out of the card front and use the negative space, I can do that. But if I want the positive space, it's just a snip away. My next video will show you how we're going to use the dies with the negative space. All right, so that's had a minute to dry. Let's fussy cut that out. All right, now it's just a matter of assembly. I'm gonna take my bone folder and roll the corners of my designer series paper just slightly. And I'm also going to roll the corners of our little brick emboss paper. Okay, and then with some dimensionals, I'll attach Let's Be Friends Forever to the early espresso scallop. And then with the snail adhesive, we'll attach to our medallion. Okay, now I need some glue dots. I'm going to put a glue dot on each of these little leaves and you notice putting it at the bottom of the leaf on the front side and making them self-adhesive. So we've got all of our sticky leaves. We'll have to determine the positioning here. So I'm going to take my sentiment. I want it on a little bit of an angle. So we're going to drop one of those leaves here and here. And then for good balance, we'll go directly across the flower and add one here. So there's our little sunflower from the Eastern Beauty Bundle. Okay, now I've got this great brick wall pattern. Let's grab some washi tapes from the Moroccan Designer Washi Collection. Let me just run a strip across the bottom here. of each of these two patterns. And we've got some linen thread here. And we're gonna wrap a couple of times and tie a bow. and three loops around and now tie
trim off the excess. Okay, look how cute. Let's get our card back in here now and snail adhesive on the back of our designer series paper. Don't go all the way to the corners. Let those corners roll up. I think it adds to the charm. And we're gonna adhere at an angle. And then same with our embossed piece, but I'm gonna grab some fast views on the embossed piece and with this um, linen thread, this will give us some extra hold. Don't go all the way to the corner because we've worked hard to roll those cute little corner corners up. We're gonna adhere that at an opposing angle. Then our flower needs some dimensionals. One on each leaf and one in the middle of the back. Okay, then we're going to tuck that in against the bow. We don't want to adhere our bow down though, so be careful there. Looks pretty good. Let's grab our in color enamels. You can get these while supplies last. When in doubt, 1357 add numbers for embellishments. That's good design. And there we go. How cute are they? Okay. So what do you think? Let's be friends forever. Just very vanilla. And let's be friends forever with the brick wall. Which one do you prefer? You can go over to kitchentablestamper.com to this blog post, the Eastern um, Palace Bundle Sneak Peek. I will have a direct link below. If you leave a comment on the blog, two comments will be selected at random and you will get one of these cards. All right, kitchentablestamper.com. If you've got any questions about the Eastern Palace um, pre-order starting May 1st, if I can do anything stamping up for you, email me. Marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.